Hi everyone. In this video, we will learn how to write, compile and execute the Java programs by using Java Online Compilers. Java Online Compilers. First of all, let's know what are the uses of online compilers. See here, as I told you, you can write, compile and execute the programs and no installation required. You don't need to install Java on your system, but you need the internet connection and this point is very important you can save your programs in cloud that means later you can access all your saved programs on any day at any time on any system so let's start open any browser and type java online compilers so you will get so many java online compilers like programmes jdoodle online gdb tutorialspoint.com so like that so many online compilers are available in the market but i feel jdoodle is best for the students now i will explain you how to use this jdoodle just open it so this is the jdoodle you can use this jdoodle on your desktops laptops even on your mobile phones the first thing what you have to do is go here and click on this full screen mode you will get a comfortable view and this is the window where you have to type your programs right and see here here you have to give the inputs for your program stdin means keyboard and there is an interaction mode available in this jdoodle i will talk more about this interactive mode in the next video and even you can give the command line arguments and see here there is a button execute when you click on this you can see the output in this window right and we have so many options let's see all the options one by one so first of all you have to sign in to this jdoodle for that again go back to previous view on the top you will find this sign in button okay click on this there are two ways you can sign in first one is you can register as a new user or else you can sign in with google directly so either ways you can sign in to this jdoodle suppose if you want to register as a new user click on the register then give your email id here and choose any display name and set up a new password for this and retype the password and click here i am not a robot and join the doodle this is the first way and second way directly by using your existing gmail account or microsoft account so when you click on this you are redirected to your gmail so you can choose any one of your account to log in okay so i am using this id now switch to again full screen view here you can see three dots just click on this you will get so many options like external libraries new project my project okay so for example if this is the first program you have typed in let us assume like that and you want to save this see the option here click on save and you have to give some project name for example i want to give the project name as project 1 and click on save project saved successfully click on close and now if you want to open your saved projects again click on these three dots and here click on my projects see here this is your project one when you click on this you will get your program and these are my earlier projects project p1 and this is project p2 and this is the latest project what i have saved okay click on close and let's see how to create new projects again click on these three dots new project yes i wrote a simple hello world program now save this project click on these three dots click on save and try to give some project name so i am giving the project name as project 2 and click on save open your previous projects again click on these three dots click on this my projects and here all projects will be displayed this is the project one and this is the project two and if you want to open any other previous projects just click on them 
and click on this open so those projects also will be open like this and let's see some other options click on these three dots you can share this program either in a blog or a site you have instant share option here click on this create share and you will get an url you can share this url right and you can have the option copy to clipboard so when you click on this the program copy to clipboard and you can open any notepad on your system you can copy your program like this and you can save this program in any one of your local drives and we have some other options like we have dark theme so when you enable this so your entire screen will become dark that will be helpful for you to work for a long time and you can increase the font size or decrease the font size even you can import the programs stored in your local files or you can download this program when you click on this save the program will be downloaded and you can save this program on your computer right so there are so many options like this so if you want to sign out so click here and here you can sign out or you can change password or you can log out from here so i hope this video helps you thank you for watching